What's going on, everybody? I am Evan from Stupidly Awesome Gaming. Thank you for tuning in to me trying to be a black, you know, CIA or FBI agent in Alpha Protocol. Uh, I'm gonna actually, uh, hmm, uh, I'm gonna do this on hard. That way, I you guys will get to pay double one. I swear. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Th th this is an interesting uh, game. I've not had a chance to I've been wanting to play this for a while and it's not on Steam anymore so let's see agent history soldier decorated for service in the armed forces your commanding officer felt that general infantry was a waste of your potential oh, much like me your natural language talent and quick wit caught the attention of a recruiter for an agency that doesn't officially exist oh, okay well uh, that unlike me uh, field agent, no stranger to covert operations, you've spent the last several years working for the U.S. State Department on overseas assignments, capable of being charismatic presence one moment and an inconspicuous shadow the next, you're always the agent on location, never the one hiding behind a desk. Tech specialist, having made a mockery of your aptitude test sent your way, it was no surprise that you finished your first PhD before you were legally allowed to buy alcohol. While the CIA initially hired you to design cutting-edge electronics, being cloistered in a lab proved unsatisfying and your superiors... Superiors granted you a transfer to clandestine services. When your handler was tasked to recommend an agent for a top secret reassignment, your remarkable field work and your natural grasp of technology made you the obvious choice. Okay, and then freelancer. Fearless from birth, the only thought that ever that ever caused you an ounce of panic was the thought of a nine to five job. Like me. After a remarkable college career, you vanished off the radar of the of the known world to make your fortune. According to your dossier, you've been a mercenary in Africa, a bodyguard to the Sultan of Brunei, the on again, off again paramour of a European princess, and the holder of three patents in Great Britain. Well the truth is somewhere in the middle, one thing is clear, your skills caught the attention of some very important people in the espionage world. Uh, select recruit for an additional challenge. Choosing this background opens an additional recruit dialogue option during training. Though you barely logged three months working for the Department of Justice, you're uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Hmm. I honestly kind of want to be a freelan freelancer. Uh, freelancer or soldier? Because whenever whenever I do an RPG, I always do the first character as if it, I was the person doing it. So it's between those two. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go freelancer because that's more like me right now. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Stealth. The stealth go reduces enemy perception. Perception affords an agent special techniques for going unseen and unheard. Pistols. Oh, okay. So this is this is stuff to invest in. Okay. Um, toughness increases your ability to sustain injury. Bonuses include decreased health. Increased health, faster endurance recovery, and temporary damage resistance. Uh, let's go assault rifle. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I haven't put anything in yet. Hmm. What level of skill greatly extends the duration of my consent enemies or reduces the downtime between uses of the ability? Uh, awareness improves Mike's ability to sense enemy placement and positions. The basic level of the skill greatly extends. Yeah, let's go stealth. Martial arts. Mm. Assault rifles. The medic ability increases the efficiency of Mike's healing. This could be from the use of first aid kit carried in a mission or from medical aid stations found on site. Silent running makes all walking and running completely silent during the duration of the ability. Uh, okay, basically I'm just gonna create my character to be as silent as possible. But not... So you can see proficiency increase the damage inflicted with all hand to hand. Okay, assault rifles level... Okay. Okay, so my character is going to be as sneaky as possible. All right. Confirm your changes before starting. Yes. All right, this is going to be interesting. 
Yeah, this was developed by Obsidian, uh, Obsidian, which uh, they did. Uh, if you, uh, they did Fallout New Vegas, and they did a couple other, a couple other games as well. Oh, I think most recently they did. Uh, um, oh God, what's the, what's the name? Outer Worlds. Yeah, half half of the people on there, oh, like at least at least in Obsidian, are filled with uh, uh, f like uh, old uh, old Fallout uh, uh, developers. Oh crap, that's a missile. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, and it breaks into four or five other smaller missiles. Well, that sucks. Are there any survivors? Twenty seven dead. God damn. If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thorpe, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. Oh, lovely. Three months ago, the gray box, location classified, and god damn, that is bright. Oh, god. Ripping out that needle's gotta hurt like a son of a bitch. Okay. Pick up PDA. Good, you're awake. When speaking to someone, you'll enter a timed conversation. Choose a stance: square, suave, triangle, aggressive, circle, pro pro professional, or sometimes an X action or special stance. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. Where am I? You're locked in our medical bay. And when the guards find out you've regained consciousness, they'll put you under again. Don't want that. Any reason why you're helping me? Mina. Let's just say I'm not a fan of the indoctrination procedure here. All the more reason to leave, then. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually, he's going to come check on you. And when he does... Can you distract the guard? Unlock the door. I could... A glitch in the security panel in the hall outside might do it. As long as you don't make too much noise when you leave, you might take him by surprise while he's checking it. Disabling the security system now. The door should be unlocked. Okay. All right. Hang on. Options. Game subtitles. Always on. All right. Oh, oh. Where is this guard? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. Bypass alarm, but okay. Check between the circuits and press X to clip a circuit. 
Click circuits in numerical order to bypass the panel. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, clipping the wrong circuit will decrease the time left. Running out of time will trigger an alarm. Clipping all circuits will override the board. Okay. You need to shut off the alarm. Okay. The panel's on the wall. Do a bypass on it. Uh. Hmm. There we go. Careful. They probably have a guard in the lobby. Enemies will less likely to see you when you're a crowd or in cover, making it easy to move in for a stealth takedown. Okay. Right. There we go. I can't take his gun? Alright. Guess not. Oh! I pick up a tranquilizer pistol. Ah, dang, I don't have, uh... I could probably just sneak up on this guy and do a takedown on him. Off. Oh. Uh, there you are, Mike. Gotcha. Ah, damn. Ah, uh, fuck. Now he chooses literally just wrong timing. Pinpoint accuracy, fuck. Ah, damn. Reload, last checkpoint, okay. <laughs> damn. Hard mode, they don't fucking play. <laughs> Four. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's probably the deal for the alarm. If they spot you or you destroy them, they'll sound an alarm. Okay. Ah, security camera. Extenter cover. Okay. Quick the move adjacent cover. Okay. <laughs> How did he wake up so fast? He just got here. They dropped me like a frickin' dog. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have put stuff into pistols, now that I think about it. Oh, fuck you. 
Why is there a scan point on my, uh, like, right, like, in my breast pocket? <laughs> Computer? No, doesn't look like it. Do, do, do. Almost gave me the slip. Now we got you. Ah, damn it. Pick locked. Oh, lovely. Use L2 to apply pressure to a pin. R2 sets the pin. Line the pin along the shear line to set it. Okay. Trying to, trying to set a misaligned pin will strain the lock and eventually break it. Align and set all pins to pick the lock. Okay. Ah, oh, God. Fuck. Ow. Oh. Damn it. Oh, thank God. Oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, 12 tranquilizer rounds. Any sign of our new arrival? No sign of him yet. Special ability once selected, press one for that ability. Awareness, silent running. Uh, awareness reveals nearby enemies showing their location, facing, and level of suspicion. 
Silent running makes all walking and running completely silent. seconds. Hack appears to complete siphons funds or disable security. Let's try hacking. Find two passwords hidden in the data. Oh, lovely. Match the top password with its twin. Lock the left. Pa lock in the left password with L2 and the right with R2. If the security bar fills up the sequence will move. Running out of the time will trigger an alarm. Lock in both pass passwords to hack the terminal successfully. Oh, God. Lovely. Okay. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize there were seven. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Where's one? Where's one? Where's one? Okay. Where's two? Six two CA. Damn it. This is weird. Eight four E zero zero six. Service record. Oh, God. Okay. 
dang. Oh, man. Ah. Okay, no. Dang it. Okay, okay, I think I understand this now. Uh, at least that DDFD15. So it doesn't move. Oh god, I I am the worst person for the job on this. Ah oh, dang. Okay. It was close. Looking at all these letters. Oh, dang it! That. Oh, man. Staring at all those numbers and letters, it starts to give me a headache. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, come on! Dang it! It moved. Dang it, it moved again. God damn it. Oh, man. Oh, God. This is... Oh, but... Oh, dang Ah, oh, dang it. I'm just gonna wait for the update security protocols. Ah. There we go. Give it up. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Should probably deactivate this alarm. Oh sweet, I don't have to do that minigame again. See, I don't mind that minigame, but god damn, that code minigame. Alright, Mike, that's enough. Find your captors. That's enough? I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did yeah, you level up? We need to get the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you got kidnapped and questioned. You mean like now? Real friendly welcome to a new recruit. We're not in the business of making friends. Judging from your dossier, neither are you. Let me guess. You're not done hazing me yet. Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests, then you and I can talk face to face. That mm. make you feel better? Mm. No, but some morphine might. Mm. Or whatever cocktail you shot into my system. What the hell was that? That's classified. Mm -hmm. Although I didn't expect you to shake it off so quickly. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Your file makes you seem more like a tourist than an agent. Your passport must have been stamped twice over. The stamps are just for show. I can't confirm or deny I was ever in any of those places. Nor were there any witnesses. Well, I hope mm -hmm. you like going where it's hot. And I'm not talking about hell, but some place close to it. I thought I was already there. Spoken like a man who doesn't care about his career. Good. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm going to let you out of the pin here and meet the rest of the crew. Hmm. I prefer an assignment, not a meet and greet. How about you earn it first? And that means following orders, got it? The rest of the crew will take it from here. 
Lovely. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one, and dangerous. But I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. Level up. You can spend your AP to acquire new skills. Alright. Okay, I got ten. Let's see. Evasion provides a panic button for sneaking. If an enemy is about to spy you, evasion will activate on its, on its own accord and give you a brief moment of invisibility. Okay. Um. Hmm. The interference ability allows Mike to tune his EMP charges to temporarily disable electronic keypads and computer systems without utterly destroying them. Letting him, letting him take control, um, take control of security systems with ease. Mike can even use EMP charges to quickly get through a locked door by disabling the attached alarm system and kicking his way through the door. To use this ability, approach a locked door, computer system, or other object that requires the use of lock picking. Electronics bypass or computer hacking with an EMP charge in your inventory and press circle. Ooh. Now that sounds nice. Okay, let's try. Oh, whoop. Ooh, I might have to do that, but later. Let's go pistols, and then I'll just bank the rest. Big ass screen. No weapons past this point. Mm. Uh, love it. Nothing. What does this game about? I just tuned in. Hey, nothing. Nice to see you back. Um, it's basically about a, uh, it's a spy RPG, basically. I just woke up. I died a bunch of times, but. Use the locker to change your appearance. After using the locker, proceed with the orientation or return to the interrogation room for your mission. You probably want to change. Go on. Your gear's in the lockers. Ah. Yeah, lovely. Our war does not end here. This target is not the last. Mm -hmm. With our will and our resolve, our Samad shall continue. Oh, sweet. I can... All right, well, let's, uh, yeah, that's about how, what? no, no, actually, you know what, no. I think, um, yeah, I think I'm about tan right there. Uh, layered. Yeah, disheveled, that's kind of how I like myself. Five o'clock shadow, groom beard, circle beard, goatee. Uh, yeah, give me some fly, five o'clock shadow. If you have your sunglasses. Yeah, just none. And dark brown. There we go. Yeah, that's about as close to me as I'm ever going to get in this game. Orientation's not mandatory. You can turn around and go back to Westridge right now. Although that might make him upset. Enter gadget orientation. The gray box. Technical ops orientation. Mikey, be with you in a moment. I'm just setting some things up here. I'm Sean Darcy. I'm going to be running you through tech orientation. Mm. Good to meet you, Agent. What do you need me to do? We'll be firing up the exercise in a second. For now, just stand there and be quiet, Mikey. Shouldn't be much longer. And here we go. Green lights. I'm glad you finally showed up. Thought you might have gotten lost on the way here. Or we're too busy beating up some more guards. Mm. Neither. Just surveying the area, actually. Checking out the facility. Yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, not a good idea. Hitting the guards, I mean. The ones here have a lot of time on their hands, and that means a lot of time to hold grudges. I'll keep that in mind, but I wasn't expecting to be drugged and attacked. <clears throat> good agents ready for anything, Mikey. But enough chit-chat. We got a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah, lovely. Well, you do. I'm mostly here as an observer. I'll be doing your evaluation. Too. 
What's that out there? A used car lot? A target range for you. For me, more like a shooting gallery. Mm -hmm. Head out the door there and we'll get started. All right then. Open the locker and equip yourself. If you use them all, just come back and grab some more. Oof. Okay. Uh oh. All right. All right. Everyone's favorite. Grenades. Let's see that arm of yours. Go on. Start checking them. They're uh. concussion rounds, so don't be skittish. They sting, not kill. Okay. Hold L1 to aim. I'll oh, hold R1 to aim. And. Oh, nice. Alright, now how about something more challenging? Try a ricochet to hit the target behind the wall. Lob it behind the target and use the wall for a hook shot. Okay, let's try that. Now, try and get one through the window. Oh, I could do that. Let's see if I can bank it a little bit. Now for some fireworks. Try and chuck one beneath the truck and take out the gas tank. Oh, oh damn. I get tired of that one. Damn. Now, see that electronic lock there? Use your EMP device. Okay. EMP grenade to shut it down. You can save you time in the field. Oh, whoop. Well, yeah, I'm in cover. It's shut down. Nice. No more lock. Nice. All right. See that locker there? Well, let me guess. You want me to place one on the door? Hmm. Oh, whoop. Whoopsies. Mm. The board and press R1 to target the door. Move, man. You know those guards you beat up when you got out of medical? Yeah, well, they're gonna be joining us in a second. You've got a head start, so if I were you, I'd set an ambush and just start running. For me, I'd use the mines. That's what they're for. even trying to be a dick. I mean, I, I already have martial arts, so I mean, I probably could have kicked the crap out of him, but damn. So, Mikey, you did all right on the basic run. Yeah, nice. Time taken. Yeah, okay, 48 seconds. Guards taken down. Damage taken, zero. You know, that performance wasn't half bad. Almost as good as my record. How about we up the stakes? Take this to the big leagues. All right, let's try it out. Mind? All right, me and the guards, who you already met when you woke up, pooled our petty cash, and we'd like to make you a little bet. Ooh. All right, I'm listening. It's a rematch, on our terms. It's simple. Disable all the alarms and escape the area in the time provided, and you take on the winnings. If you lose, you'll owe us. Got it? Sounds good to me. Just head into the range and we'll get to it, Mikey. All right, then. Tell your team to get ready. So here we are. Rematch. For you and the guards. But on their terms. So listen up. There's alarms hidden all over the course. All you need to do is shut them down. But the guards are going to try and reset them. Every time an alarm goes off, another squad's coming in. And they all want a shot at you, trust me. Alarm goes off enough times and you're gonna get trampled. But you have the technology to beat them. So let's see even the odds, if you can. Okay. Okay, I already activated awareness. Okay. Shock trap, radio mimic. Use the radio to mimic to call off an active alarm. 
Oof. case. Ah, uh, nope, that's weapons. Before I do this, let me give myself a little bit of an edge this time. Take it's gonna take me a minute to get get used to these controls. Thought they might have you for a second. Guess I was wrong. Head on up and I'll call someone in to clean up the course and the bodies. Oof. Yeah, I just I didn't realize every time I called off the alarm it would in a real mess of things. In a good way. That's all I need. See you in the field dog. Twenty thousand. If you say so, Mikey. Damn. Man, they almost had me for a second if I didn't heal between. You do another run of the gadget range, let me know. Me and the boys will be there. 
hack the email system. And okay, I'm gonna wait for it to change because. Yeah, tell me about it. Intelligent. Ah, damn. Alright. Who else took it? Okay. Weapons orientation. Gray box. Marksmanship orientation. Yeah, saving the world ain't easy. Shooting in here? Agent Thornton. Hello. Hey. Hey, you're the one I spoke to when I woke up in the medical bay. Glad that wasn't a hallucination. Mm. It may have been. Do you remember my name? Or do I need to write it down for you? No need, Tina. Is that right? Mina. Uh, Mina damn. Tang. You just got your letters mixed up. Considering I'm about to go into the firing range, let's just say I was distracted and move on. So, where's the weapons trainer? I met. Sexist much? Well, depending on the reaction, you bet. I see. <laughs> but let's get down to the task at hand. I'm here to run you through the weapons training and test your accuracy. I already know how to use firearms. Can we just get to the range? I want to get through this and get to the real assignment. <laughs> Be my guest. Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. Head over to the table, get your mm -hmm. weapons, and we can begin. <laughs> yeah. The standard field agent package includes a pistol, SMG, shotgun, and assault rifle. Each has its strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with the pistol. Equip the pistol, then aim down range and take some shots at the target. Mm. Good aim. Now, steady your aim for a few seconds. Then fire. Precision shots can take down a target quickly. Almost. Almost. Hold L2 to precision aim in the crosshair is closed and turn red fire. Go. Now. Let's move on to the submachine gun. Now let's empty the clip. Let you get a feel for the recoil. Wow, dual machine guns, man. Yeah, you'd never wield uh, guns like that. Now take cover. Still using cover, take some shots at the target. Uzi. Very much. Accuracy's terrible while firing blind, but it can get the job done eventually. Yeah. Now try popping out and focusing your aim. <laughs> you can use cover to your advantage here. I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Let's see how you do against some moving targets. All right. Basic weapon handling. Now, with the pistol, you'll want to be patient and attack when targets get close. Oh, well. Good. I'm starting to think I should have put some some skills in the shotguns. Damn. Now for your 
your submachine guns. If you're trapped in close quarters with multiple opponents, the SMGs can help clear the room quickly. Not so Damage. quiet, but... Okay. So it's got damage multiplier for how many people you take down at once. It's actually kind of interesting. For long range encounters, assault, rifle. assault rifle's the key. It's accurate, powerful. Just be sure to line up your shots carefully. Surprised you're not asleep, man. I figured you'd be. I'm logging the results now. Surprised you're not asleep, nothing. I figured you'd be Is passed out. out on the course. Darcy, he's trying to beat your time. Well, how's he doing? Not well. He's distracted. Why? As soon as he knew you were talking to me, Mike, he was in here in a second. In case he saw you as a challenge for my affections. It's like a cage match with you boys. So how'd I do on the course? Calling it up now. Oh, not bad. Yeah, I had a lot of misses. It'll do. Satisfactory enough for Westridge, I think. You can give it another run if you want. The course should be free. Hmm, I'll pass. Very well, I'll log your score. I'll have the results sent to your handler, and Westridge can give the rest of your evaluation, provided you've completed the other tests. Okay, return it. And I feel bad. I feel bad that I didn't uh, like you know I'm disliked by her, but eh. yeah, maybe there'll be uh, what is it? Uh, chances to uh, increase my uh, you know. This is a restricted area. The vending mm -hmm. machines are down the hall and to the right. Mm -hmm. I'm here for espionage training. Westridge's new recruit. Good. There's no time to waste. So. Orientation. You are familiar with the premise of an obstacle course, I assume? Yes. Excellent. Well, I don't need to explain. Mm -hmm. Up the ladder is the training area. The first test is navigating through the environment without being detected. Following that, you'll be facing live challenges against the agents here. Anything else I should know about running this course? Yes. I suggest you do it quickly. <laughs> and talking gives your position away. What's the deal with the security panel? It secures the entrance. If you're as capable as Westred says, then you should have no trouble hacking it and gaining access to the course. Clock's ticking. Great. Alright. Course begins now. Hack the door in front of you to gain access to the course. Oh, damn it. There we go, locked that in. Oh, ah. This is getting better, this is getting easier and easier, Always but god check damn. your surroundings for cameras. Can't have you appearing on the nightly news. Of course. Mind the gap. Leave the cross gaps with X. The key to stealth is timing. Pay attention to camera movements, then exploit their blind spots. <gasps> Okay. Ah, oh, God, picking locks. Damn it.
Okay. Okay. God! Oh, thank God. Trust me, this annoys... Oh, God. And... Ah, oh, thank God. Christ. Oh. Just in time. For a guy who invested a decent amount into stealth, I kind of suck at stealth. Taking in the view. Yeah, well, I doubt the view is what's making you hesitate. Yeah, you might fish yourself. Based on several factors. Sorting the numbers now. <laughs> Total. Alarmed alarm detections. Minigames successful. Minigames failed. Good. Not the best I've seen, but that'll suffice. Okay. You wanna run it again? No. You know what That's people all. have to pay you well, to I'll do and you results. might piss yourself. Westridge can complete your evaluation once you finish the other tests. Anything else you could share that might help me out? I feel like I've already got the basics down. Was there anything else? What do you actually do here? My primary role mm. is intelligence analysis. But at times, I serve as a handler during sensitive missions. So you've been on a lot of Alpha Protocol Ops? Key ones, yes. I was involved in the events leading up to your assignment, in fact. How? I took on the role of a contractor, an accountant. Money is one of the easiest ways to track events. It often leaves the best fingerprints. Yeah. So you're a spy. Mm, I'm an observer. I rarely take action. But the smallest event, if analyzed incorrectly or acted on improperly, could have great repercussions. And that's where I come in. To interpret events. <laughs> like butterfly wings sparking a tornado? That kind of thing? Spare me the butterfly cliché. Guerrilla <laughs> actions, nuclear tests, exposing a corrupt politician, a rise in grain prices, and... Yes, the downing of an airliner in the Middle East. All of these things have the potential to create larger catastrophes. Okay. Controlling the repercussions of these events, getting agents the information they need to put fires out before they rage out of control, that is my job. So, what, you're like a political fortune teller? Mm -hmm. I thought economists said the market corner. <laughs> yes, it's a numbers game. But decisions hmm. must be made quickly. VR, you thought the game was terrible. If the VR is even worse than. Oh, now I can imagine. <laughs> then you operate at a disadvantage. So sometimes you create events. For political equilibrium, yes, at times. Mm -hmm. At other times, to give America an economic advantage. I Makes thought sense. we were mostly mission driven. We are. But even you will see the effect that even seemingly minor interactions have on the structure of a mission. Carry the yeah. logic one step up. And it shouldn't be hard for you to grasp. That's all I wanted to ask. Hope I didn't take up much of your time. You did, but it was productive, I hope. Mm. Agents rarely take the time to listen to an analyst's perspective. <laughs> yeah. Grand box marksmanship orientation. Ready to do this again? Yeah, sure, I'll run the course again. I can beat my own score, no problem. Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. 
Head over to the table, get your weapons, and we can begin. Alright. I've unlocked the door to the tactical range on your right. Now, with the pistol, you'll want to be patient and attack when targets get close. Not too bad. Not too bad. I finished Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. I don't know if you saw that. But god dang was it annoying. Ate, ate dinner. See if I beat my score. It does kind of bother me how there's no, at least it feels like there's no sprint button, but eh. Good, Mike. I'm logging the results now. All right, let's see here. I think it got worse. I think you might still be feeling the effects of the drugs. It's definitely affecting your aim. Mm -hmm. You can give it another run if you want. The course should be free. Mm, I'll pass. Very well. I'll log your score. I'll have the results sent to your handler. And Westridge can give the rest of your evaluation, provided you've completed the other tests. Okay. Let's head back to the interrogation room and get my first assignment. You guys must have spent a fortune on the Basic TVs in this place. You all done? You tell me. Now you're learning. I have to admit, I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. We gave our staff a run for its money. Mm -hmm. I gave it my best, and so did they. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse yeah. to up the morning drills around here. Looks like you did well on the tech portion of the test. Very well. Past Darcy's bitching, there's some real compliments in here if you look at the numbers. Mm -hmm. Mina's report says you might need more practice on the gun range, but you're probably still shaking off the drugs we gave you. Yeah. I'm still brushing up on my skills. Mina's a good teacher. I just need to be a better student. She is a good teacher. She has a good eye for potential. I'll let her know your thoughts. Okay. Another mediocre evaluation on espionage skills from Parker. Not even a note. The numbers, though, suggest a bit more training out in the field. It's best not to get spotted if you can help it. Looks like that's it for the physical evaluation. Yeah. Now for the hard part. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteer. Usually we have to ask. You ever had an intern position at a government agency? I have. Need <laughs> I say more? All my exercise was moving papers from desk to desk. I'm here to do work, not sit back and manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. Mm. My opinion isn't important. Yours is. Not out in the field. 
and not when you're dealing directly with others, then your opinion is all that counts. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking mm -hmm. around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good, because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're going to discuss now. I'm not sure I understand. Is there something wrong with how I deal with people? No. No, believe it or not, you're not here because you're a people person. You're here because your psych profile says you're skilled at manipulating others. Was <coughs> that a compliment? You'll see. The way you project yourself definitely affects what people think of you. And your reputation with them. So, this is a win friends and influence people lecture. Hardly. Turning a friend into an enemy and vice versa. Well, both can have their positives. Sometimes you want to piss someone off Carry so they can't defense. think straight. Other times you want to build a strong rapport with someone and talk your way out of a bad situation. Okay. All depends on your objective. This goes for your handlers as well. We're going to be sending you into a lot of dangerous places. And your only backup is going to be who you're talking to on your headset. How you treat them is going to have an effect on the success of your mission. So okay. piss them off, I'm screwed? No. A handler that likes you too much and puts emotions before the mission can be just as dangerous as one who resents you. This is a long way of telling me that I should just act the way I want? I didn't realize this was an acting gig. Mm. No, again, there are no bad choices. Okay. Just results. Can influence others' interactions. Over time, folks may hear about you and your attitude before they meet you. They may have a preconceived notion of how you're going to treat them, which can affect their reaction. Well, maybe they should take the time to know the real me. <laughs> if only. Time's something no one seems to be able to spare, especially during a conversation. Although that can be a plus. Yeah. If I need a breather to assess the situation, right? The clock doesn't stop when you're speaking to someone. So you need to charge a second conversation before a fight. Making small talk can buy you time. But if I'm running on adrenaline, won't chatting take me off my guard? Special ability towers come down as well. So if you need to get to hmm. the point, act instead of fight. For example, if you don't think I have any more to teach you, then you could just say, I'm done with this. I yeah. wouldn't think any less of you. You seem to have the basics down. Well, I prefer action, but why would I be talking to them if I need to shoot them? Seems like a bullet might be the best opener. Sometimes it is better if you shoot first. Still approaching someone to talk to them can allow you to get the drop on them if you get close enough to strike. Use it if you have to, if the conversation isn't going your way. Assuming there's even a way you want the conversation to go. So how hmm. do I know nice. if someone wants to be treated? At least, enough to cooperate. If that's what you want to do, pay attention to the clues in your environment. Sometimes people will have advice, and intel can help. But there's mm. another way. Read much? Mostly stop signs, which mm. I ignore. There's a host of information out there through dossiers, email, mm. and other documents that represent total research others have collected on a target, organization, or operation. And what does that get me, exactly? It's a way into their mind. obvious triggers. People who don't respond well to smart asses like me. Others who respect loyalty, duty, a professional approach. Others who don't have time for bullshit and like it when you get to the point. But dossiers just don't contain psych information. They'll hmm. usually have combat information on your target as well. The dossiers give damage bonuses against the dossier subject. Injuries, common weapons or tactics they use. Hmm. Some of it blunt, some of it subtle. But if push comes to shove, it can give you an edge in combat. The more you've done your homework, the more vulnerable they'll be. So when the guns come out, the dossier can come into play. Have you read mine? Several times. You have dossiers on... Once unlocked dossiers yeah. can be read on the intel screen of the PDA. You might learn a few things. Sometimes reading a dossier will give you more options when dealing with others. A few facts to bring up, to shake secrets loose. Hmm. What about you? You should already know what makes me happy, Mike. And what pisses me off. How do I know when I have the go-ahead to start accessing files? After meeting a target or hearing their name referenced by someone else, you should have a target ID. Then hop onto the database and start doing your homework. You can usually unlock their basic information at that point. Hmm. Let's start with a simple one. al Samad. That should be familiar to you. The terrorist group. Yes, you can research groups as well as people. It doesn't hmm. carry the same benefits, but it can provide useful intel in the field. Talking to people about others is a good way to help gain dossier information. Sometimes hmm. people will have information on someone that can unlock a brand new thread in your computer search. Okay, so I've suffered through your interrogation. 
and know how to give one if need be. Am I ready or not? We'll see. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good. Because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Liking the game so far. This is a really interesting opening. Recognize him? That Sheik Ali Shaheed, the voice mm -hmm. of Al Saman. Mm -hmm. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A hmm. missile with a multi stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. Halbeck? I've run across them while I was touring the world. They don't exactly keep their hands clean. How did Shahid get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck, and we need them back before he gets any more trigger happy. Then we want you to kill him. Understood. But if the opportunity presents itself, should I take him alive? If you can. Either way, we want him out of the picture and away from any more taped broadcasts. If I can bring him back here, I will. All right, then. Pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit. <laughs> on video and radio when needed, agent. And I just got here. Oh, well, I'm gonna miss this place. I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Okay. Nice. Objectives completed. After waking in a medical facility surrounded by armed guards, Agent Thornton was put through a rigor rigorous screening process. Agent Thornton was not notified of the test. After a brief introduction to the facility, Thornton was instructed to attend orientation on the use of gadgets. Okay. Mington gave Agent Thornton passing marks and weapons orientation, including for field operations. Sean Darcy reports that Thornton is fully cleared for technical operations and note that his use of gadgets on the course was inventive. Bonus objective. There were apparently several injuries on the gadget range due to a miscommunication and training schedule. Several guards were slated to begin the course at the, same, at the same time as Agent Thornton, and as a result suffered various injuries while believing Thornton was part of the challenge. The agents are now recovering. A psychiatric evaluation was given by Yancey Westridge. Agent Thornton meets the psychological profile required for tracking down the missing Halbeck missiles and dispatching Sheik Ali Shaheed. New operation gained, Desert Spear. Hmm, nice. Level up. Oof, man. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? <laughs> Old news. And related. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? <laughs> Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia. Protocol safe house, Saudi Arabia. New email. Hmm. New store items. Sweet. Mike, can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. Reading you loud and clear. Where can I find Shahid? It's a little more complicated than that. Mm -hmm. It's gonna require some groundwork and lots of it. Good to see you're eager to get started. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location, but we have three leads. An arms dealer, Najri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. Okay. Do you have anything else on Najri? Nothing more than what's in his dossier. If you can manage to make any contacts and find out more, we'd welcome it. We also tracked down the location of an airfield Shahid used in the past. If you can sneak in and plan a listening device, we may be able to track flight Shahid is using to move through Saudi Arabia. And the third lead? We've got the hmm. coordinates of an al Samad detention camp, also used as a stockpile for weapons. We suspect the missiles may be stored there. Any backup, sir? Just Darcy on the comm. Any backup, sir? Funny, Mike. Mm -hmm. This is enough. We'll watch 
you to go in alone, recon the area, and shut down their radar and communications. Once that's down, we can call in air support and hit the camp hard. No pressure. And no backup. Get used to it. It's the job. You check out your new home yet? It's got some perks you might be interested in. Hmm. Cool security system? A computer with a hub connection so fast you'll feel like you're going back in time. What, to the <laughs> Stone Age? Please. You can do dossier research, encrypted emails, and if need be, access some of the weapons dealers in the area. That'll be done on your own dime, however, using whatever funds you can find in Saudi Arabia. Makes sense, I already got I 20k, so... I wouldn't want Alpha Protocol tied to any weapons trafficking in the Middle East. Exactly. Yeah. There's also a weapons locker in the main living area. Open it up, help yourself, but use the ammo and armor you think suits the mission. When you're ready to head out, just use the front door, or access the missions from the main terminal. I'll have already uploaded all the mission specs to your PDA. You can review them at any time. Okay. Alright, so... is that it? Westridge. Great. <clears throat> home sweet home. You can spend your AP to acquire new skills. Oh, sweet. All right, I got 13. All right. Hmm, I want to be more specialized. Um, let's, let's add some toughness to my character. Uh, some tech, some, you know, medical training is always good. Uh, can I up my... Yeah, yeah, I have just enough. Evasion. Evasion provides a panic button for sneaking. If an enemy is about to spot you, Invasion will activate on its own accord and give you a brief moment of invisibility. Oh, I can use that. There we go. Okay, what do we got? Open weapons locker. Oh! Nice! Okay, well. Um, assault rifle is always the way to go. Oh, lovely. Is this an apartment building or is this like a full blown house? Exit safe house. No, I don't want to leave just yet. Okay, what's this? Access computer, safe house computer. Let's see, email. Mike, I'm guessing Westridge already gave you the lecture about not using agency funds on high profile assassination missions. Aside from what's in your safe house, you'll have to make sure of whatever you can borrow, swipe, or steal. If you need supplies, try the clearing house. It's a black market internet exchange. There's a seller there named Mongoose who should be able to provide you with the basics while you're in Saudi Arabia. And speaking of stealing, a contact of mine in the U.S. government just dug up an Al-Samad slush fund buried in Jordanian bank account. I've enclosed the login credential and passwords in an attachment. Just download the data and the self-extracting executable, executable will transfer the funds your way. And do it soon before the government amateurs finish filing the paperwork to so seize the account for themselves. Keep an eye out for any other funds you can abscond during your mission. We're not worried about journalists and investigations following money trails in circles around the globe as long as their search never takes them to Alpha Protocol. <laughs> Downloading funds, there we go. Nice. Maintain. Your cover email. Hello Mike, welcome aboard. I've already set you up with an email address you can give to people you meet in the field. Not only is it against regulations to hand out your agency contact info, it's a pretty surefire way of getting reassigned to Greenland. We hawk in or some other ass end of the world. <laughs> Don't worry, the email won't sit on some corporate server. I've made sure all email, all mail in and out gets redirected to the encrypted server that you can exit out. Okay. Password is Alva Danger. <laughs> Minus the quotes, of course. Change it when you first log in. Let me know if you have any questions, Mina. What's it? I don't have any kids, so maybe I'll photograph my guns and put a little frame picture of my firearms on my desk and at the company party. We can totally get drunk and have sex in the supply car. And then spend. Glad to be a part of the team. 
Okay. Mikey, Westridge put me in charge of logistics for the run, run on the detention camp. Should be fun. Some things you should know. This mission... This mission comes thanks to a local contact of mine. Yeah, I've got a ton of contacts in the air. What can I say? My grasp of the Arabic language is rivaled only by my charm and modesty. But seriously, this guy is a cool kid. He's a double agent, as everyone in Al Samad convinced he's one of them. So he gets us pretty solid leads. Though he doesn't work cheap. I've studied up on the base was built in the sandstone cliffside in the 60s with Gamal Abdel Nazir, second president of Egypt, was trying to start an anti-Saudi uprising in Yemen. That's right, I'm a history buff. Anyway, it's nestled on the ridge. Okay. Local weather patterns suggest a sandstorm will hit soon. It's about as likely as sun in Los Angeles or rain in London. We're doing... We're going to time your mission with a sandstorm. Take advantage of the reduced enemy visibility and hearing the storm provides. I'll be your handler of the mission, but not your nanny. I know I'd I'd tackle this mission with stealth and a shit ton of explosives when that fails, but I don't care how you get things done. I don't care that you get things done. I'll make sure all my friendly contacts are off-site, so don't worry about killing friendlies. Aside from that, well, it should be simple in and out mission. Just follow my my lead and we'll kick ass, take names, save the world, and be home in t time for a trip to the titty bar. Good hunting. If you need supplies, look out, oh, okay. Okay, let's visit the clearinghouse, since everybody seems to be freaking talking about it. Okay. Hmm. Silencer. Eh. Those actually don't exist, but... Eh. Let's see. Okay. Ooh. How much money do I have? 350,000. Nice. Mm, very stable with minimal recoil and an expensive clip, but below average stopping power. Nah, I don't have the money for that, damn. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just keep with my basic weapons. Compared to SWAT, you took damage reduction, sound dampening. Compared to SWAT utility armor, upgrade slots, sound dampening, inventory space. Eh, I might as well just keep the. I might as well just keep the. Yeah, I'll just keep my basic equipment and just say screw it. But I could. Okay, vented. Vented pistol action, accessory slot increases recoil control, reduces damage. Your pistol barrel. Might as well add a silencer and a balanced pistol mag. There we go. Okay, I bought a new. Uh, I bought a few new toys. New objective, turn on the TV. Yeah, I should have grabbed a couple armor mods while I was at it, but... Barrels, and the silencer. No, it says, oh, whoop, whoop. I need that back. And barrel, uh, Sights. There we go. Gotta have the scope. All right. In Washington today, Senator Patrick Darcy unveiled new legislation aimed at cleaning up the federal government by greatly restricting lobbyists' access to legislators. The bill, called the People Over Rich Corporations Act, or PORC Act, mm -hmm. will prohibit lobbyists from contributing to election campaigns and require anyone affiliated with a corporation to stay. Yeah, it seems a little expensive.
Yeah, let's take a look at Intel. Bug also met an airfield. Investigate your zone weapon stockpile. Understood. Okay. Let's take a look at the dust. Let's take a look at dossiers. Okay. Parker, Alan Parker's genius level intelligence analyst working for Alpha Protocol. Okay. I'll show you as an oil sheik with a strong ties to political figures in the Middle East and the West. In the West, he's incredibly wealthy from both his oil interests and the political favors he's been granted in exchange for access to his oil. Shahid frequently intercedes on behalf of his Western and European friends in Middle Eastern affairs. Shahid is monitored by Interpol and numerous intelligence agencies and is wildly and is widely known as the voice of Al Samad. Responsible for several anti-American broadcasts over the past several years. Okay. Omar Masai, based in areas, weapons trafficker based in the Middle East. He has connections throughout Moscow. Okay. Yeah, it's only 50% complete. All right. Okay, let's see. Weapon stockpile or intercept Nasiri, the arms dealer. Let's go with Bug Alsamid. Uh, handler bonus. Okay. Bug the control tower to track Sayid's flight logs. Reports indicate she may be using an airfield cast of Jazan to infiltrate the airfield, download the flight logs, and get out without being spotted. Okay. Mina Tang. Handler bonus, constant encouragement. Okay. Inventory. Let's take a look at it. Okay. Explosive grenade and a first aid kit. Nice. EMP charge is always useful. Okay. Mike, enjoying Saudi Arabia? I've been keeping an eye on your mission. What do you think? I think you're lucky. All I'm seeing are satellite images. Guess that'll have to do. Speaking of which, anything new on Shahid or the other leads? Not much more at the moment. I know Parker and Darcy are trying to dig up as much as they can through contacts and surveillance, though. Anything come up you need my help with? Ah, uh, Shahid. Can you tell me anything about Shahid? Not much more than you'd find in his dossier. His personal fortune doubled in one year when gas was four dollars a gallon. And yeah. he likes feeling safe when he travels. What do you mean safe? While Al Samad is mostly untrained civilians using Cold War guns, his personal bodyguards are well trained. And judging from the missile used on the airliner, let's just say he makes sure they have cutting edge tech. Can yeah. you tell me anything about my mission here in Saudi? Probably nothing Westridge hasn't explained already. If you infiltrate the airfield Shahid uses, I may have more practical advice. Why is that? I'll be your handler for that mission. Okay. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. I know it's your first time infiltrating an airfield. As long as you're backing me up, I think I'll be in good hands. That's very optimistic mm -hmm. of you, Agent Thornton. But I appreciate the trust. So you've been without the mm -hmm. protocol a while, then? Not as long as Westridge. Not nearly as long as Parker. This assignment with Shahid is probably the biggest one I've been involved in. Hmm. What other assignments have you been on? I went undercover with Parker in Milan as a contractor for Halbeck. It's how we found out the missiles were gone in the first place. Hmm. Although it was too late to stop Shahid. The incident with the airliner? Well, we'll catch him this time. He won't get another chance. I hope so. I feel like if we'd been a little quicker with analyzing the data... Don't beat yourself up over it. What's done is done. Let's focus on the next step. You're right. We're closing in on him, and it shouldn't be much longer. All right, come Still, on. Still, without the protocol, what I don't understand is why the United States would want to keep this operation secret. Don't they want Shahid captured? I think it's the missiles that are the problem. Helvex a substantial government contractor. The fact the missiles were involved complicates things. Complicates things? As in... There are potential embarrassment to help it? I think that's a big part of it. Yeah. U.S. weapons used to kill U.S. citizens? Wouldn't be the first time. We've been on a front page, even if the missiles were stolen. 
Alpha Protocol does a lot of operations like this. I don't know all of them, or all the names this program has had. It carries out missions without the knowledge of other U.S. agencies. Like what? The CIA? <laughs> the CIA? The NSA? <laughs> Most congressmen don't even have a clue this program exists. It's designed to prevent red tape. And Makes it's sense. Out, it just gets buried and renamed. Renamed? Yeah. It's a beta or gamma protocol? No clue. Parker probably does. He's been here the longest. Whenever it's in danger of being exposed, it closes shop and a new one opens up. Interesting. I guess that's good to know. I wonder if I'd get a new name if our protocol shut down. I don't know. We might get new names, new identities. Mm -hmm. Or fired. This seems like Let's a big assignment fired. for a new hire. There must have been other candidates. There were other candidates, including Darcy. But the recommendation was based on Parker, Westridge, and me. Although when I made my recommendation, it wasn't about Shahid. It was about the larger mission. So why me? Because I think when given a choice, you're going to choose the people of a country over the heads of state. And that's not a choice many people here would make in the same circumstances. Yeah. Especially Darcy. To be fair to Darcy, though, he has family issues that prevent him from going. Notably, his father. According to your dossier, your family isn't an issue. Is that all I am to you? A dossier? Until you arrived at Alpha Protocol, you were. Not anymore. I think you're someone who does what's right. Hmm. And that's what I'm counting on. That's all I need. Thanks, man. You got it. Call me if you need anything else. All right. Looks like I'm wiretapping an airfield. This is going to be fun. Eight to twenty-seven. Alice Mud Airfield, east of Jazan, Saudi Arabia. If you do, we may lose our chance to find Shahid. Sure is a lot of security. It's bad, but it also means they've got something here worth protecting. Okay, I can't just can't destroy that camera, otherwise they'll be alerted. So. Exposed. Got it. I might be able to find a way over it. If you can fly, then you're welcome to try. I think you'd be surprised. the computer system. Let's pray I can get this right. Alright. Thank God. Oof.
they see does this guy see me or something or I really cannot tell there we go Christ that was the like that was that was very annoying I can let's see if I can hack it. Oh, thank God. And that's that. Good job. You've shut down the hangar cameras. Mm, the ones at the tower are on a different circuit, though. That's fine. Slowly and carefully. That's how that's how wars won, right? Ooh. Wow, well, five hundred dollars. God, that would be a lot of money for me. <laughs> ah crap. Juno, jump! There we go. Got the last of Shahid's elite guard. Nice job. One less thing to worry about later. Okay. something. Okay, five hundred dollars. Okay, so this is if I wanted to. Okay. Honestly, it wouldn't have been a good way to go, though, because I would have landed right into, you know, his elite and been, you know, would have caused a problem or... Somebody saw me. They saw me very briefly. Okay. Ah, it's probably that guy.
don't know how that... I both don't know how that didn't work and how that I that wasn't an immediate alarm, but um yeah. That just happened. Oh, shit, okay. okay. Get some money on you. And oh shit. Whew. He didn't find that weird at all. Okay. Thank God for awareness. Side of this is I didn't start an alarm, so looks like they got a stockpile of weapons here. I'm gonna see if I can destroy these crates before they get shit down. All right, Mike, but the control tower comes first. How do I switch weapons? Ah, there we go.
Oh, okay, so this is also an objective. Oh, yeah, because he did also mention that he was going to try to destroy those. That's the last of them. Well done. Now for the tower. Okay. Explosive grenade acquired. Uh, one of his elite. There we go, got one, which sucks because I see where the other one's hiding. Several weapon caches at the scene were found destroyed. This should cause resupply difficulties for Ultima. In fact, Lord Munition Supply for terrorists in Saudi Arabia. Most objective Agent Thornton encountered and killed Sage elite guards. This should make future attempts to eliminate Sayyid much easier. In fact, reaching Sayyid should meet less resistance when his location is discovered. Agent Thornton successfully planted a listening device in the control tower. This allows monitoring of Ultima traffic in the region. It should make intercepting them much easier. Nice. Still, I should have been more careful. I noticed the security. It may be a good sign. It means the airfield is important to Al Samad. It may be a problem in the future, though. If Shahid feels we're on to him, he'll bring his elite guard in, which could make your upcoming missions more difficult. I'll have to be on my guard then. Not much else to be done. Is the bug transmitting? Loud and clear, no problems. We have Parker and some of the other analysts on it now. Okay. Much longer. All right then. Let me know when she found something. Will do. And again, good job. Hmm. Nice. Alright. You're quite welcome. I appreciate the pleasant street. Pleasantries, though I'd wager after a month or two at the agency, you'll lose whatever good graces you've learned in life before the protocol. Stay sharp. This job will kill you. Hey, Mike, if you need supplies, I have a local contact that should suffice. His name's Murad, and he's a shameless mercenary of an arms dealer, unafraid to peddle any weapon to whoever offers cash, and I mean that in the nicest way. A lot of locals would just as soon blow up anyone from a NATO country, but Murad shows that capitalism beats racism and xenophobia any day of the week. <laughs> have you visited the cleaning house yet, or clearing house yet? I've made sure you're patched into Murad's selective shortlist. When you log in, you'll see what he has for sale. Peace. Okay. 
Take a look at the clearing house. Hmm. Ooh, adrenal regulator, what's that? Slightly improves ability, cooldown rates, lowers endurance. Uh, fitted overlay improve, improves ability, cooldown rates, nice. Ammo pouch, reactive polymer, increases damage resistance. Ceramic pocket inserts, increases endurance, Reduces ammo carrying capacity. Has a short time delay for being spotted by cameras. Provides a slight bonus to. Ooh, I want that. And then improves ability cooldown rates. That should. That should really help me in the field. Because I needed that on my last mission. I didn't realize I had uh, a bait of ceramic plates, otherwise I would have. Uh, let's go with printed circuitry and fitted underlay. That should work. Alright everybody, well that's the episode, well, one or two episodes of Alpha Protocol. This was, it, it's a very interesting game, extremely difficult, but I also have it, uh, I also have it on hard mode, but if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, as always, you know, comment and like and share the content with your friends. Comment games that you'd like me to do in the future, because i got a huge stack on my backlog, but I will always try to be, uh, meet viewer requests. That's all I got for you. I'm Evan from Stupidly Awesome Gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Good night.